guys welcome to another video today i am going to show you my entire nail art collection which is surprisingly not that big <laughs> in comparison to most of other youtube nail art collection videos that i've seen a lot of uh, nail artists that i that i found online they tend to have really really big nail art collections and uh, most of my nail art consists of like actual gemstones, opals, a lot of metal charms and I also have molds here to make my own charms made out of gel. I like to keep a pretty nice collection of things that I need. I try not to go overboard with my shopping because it can get out of hand. I'm gonna make this into a two-parter. Today I'm gonna show you guys um, my metal nail charms. Anything that's metal, silver, or gold it's uh, mostly here and I have some up here as well. In my second part, I'm just gonna go over like the plastic charms and the glitter and all that. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with the first one up here. All right, so this is my first tray here. I have a lot of gold metal charms. Um, I also have these. These are actually mixed in with silver because when I, I bought them, they came like this. So I might sort them out later. These are metal frames and I like to use these for making my own nail charms you can put like glitter gel and make like jewels out of them with the gold framing different mediums like glitter flowers or opal Here i have japanese nail charms that i got on my first trip to tokyo these were so trendy like three years ago the heart charms the the big crescent moons this is a chain a gold chain that it's pretty long actually you just you can cut it and put it on the nail and encapsulate it um, I got these in Japan. <clears throat> Actually, all of these are from Japan, including the chain. And one thing that I've noticed from Japanese uh, chains, uh, I don't know what it is, but they're a little more finer. It lays flat in comparison to the chain that you find at craft stores or from China on eBay. So there's a huge difference. So when people ask me like, why do you love Japanese nail art so much? And it's because honestly, guys, not only is it really cute and very hard to find, but it's very good quality and it just lays nicely on the nail. The gold color lasts longer, it doesn't fade away. Yeah, these two, they're kind of like frames, but they're like metal plates. And you could put like a charm right in the middle. Really cute. Got some more frames, different shapes, gold, circles and two sizes. I have square shape. Same thing with the last frames that I showed you. I like to use these to make charms and jewelry or just to put like tiny little charms next to it, maybe like a minimal look. I have some little ones here. These are triangle, has some gold crosses. These are from Japan. I haven't had much luck finding them here. And some bows and tiny little rectangles. Uh, about three years ago when it was really popular to have like uh, piercing nail art. So I have here like a septum type of gold ring. <laughs> little piercing pieces, some little shell pieces here. So tiny. Um, I need to put something in this one. These are like little locks and I have heart shaped ones. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these. And if you follow a lot of Japanese nail artists, this is very uh, trendy little body jewelry pieces here. All right, in this jar, I have a mix of metal, nail pieces, plastic, fiber, and yeah, it's just a mixture. I see I even have some silver here because I'm, I can be very unorganized sometimes. More frames here. These are oval shaped frames. Uh, random assortment, as always. I have some charms. I also have little baggies of random frames that my clients have brought in so I can apply on their nails. Uh, gold foil and what's in here? Gold crescent moon shaped charms. And here I have this really cool little sheet of fiber. It's not exactly paper, it's like, like stringy. I don't know how to describe it, but I like to use this for abstract art. I also keep that in here. I have a wheel of square plastic studs. These are not metal. I believe I got these from Nail Labo. Gold wire. For this jar I have more gold chain. This has some gold flake here for all types of nail art. Um, I really like gold flake. This one is a must-have. This is literally gold like thread that you like sewing thread kind of. It's 
Actually, it's stiffer than sewing thread, but that's basically what it is. This is really cool. It lays flat on the nail. I love using this stuff. Um, I also have a wheel of round metal. Actually, no, these are plastic. More frame. These are shell shapes. Got round ones, a little pointy triangle, our tiny squares. And this wheel has Christmas nail art pieces. It's just a wide assortment of little snowflake gold tape and I don't keep this in the dispenser with the rest of the nail tape because this gold color I use it a lot so I just like to keep it in here with the rest of the other gold color things that I have caviar beads um what else I have more round frames these look like confetti these are really fun I also have a wheel of random uh metal abstract pieces. I don't even know what you would call these. These are really, really cool. I have yet to use these actually. This, this was a gift. And in this box, I have a random variation of nail charms. I have mini Minnie Mouse frame here. My client purchased these. She wanted Minnie and Mickey nail art. So she brought those in. She let me keep the rest. It's really nice of her. I have leaves here and I have a lion's head. And I have a Medusa head because I was planning to do more Versace nail art. And on the other side, I have random assortment. I have little pineapples here, bananas, and I think these are roses. I was way off. It's actually a unicorn. <laughs> it's upside down. This one, cute little flower charms. It's shaped like a flower. These are adorable. In this container, I just have a bunch of gold bars in different sizes. So I have these tiny, tiny ones, and then I have these long ones. This is just for like abstract nail art. I love having little pieces like this, very minimal. Um, this is what they look like. These are from Japan. I oh, so they're just thin gold bars, except for this one and this one. These are pretty thick. Right, my next drawer, I have a lot of tiny little metal studs. These are my favorite because you can add these as little gold accents when you're doing nail art. Or if you want to keep things very simple, I have tiny little round metal studs in different sizes. I believe this is one millimeter and I have the smallest ones I have are these. These are so tiny. I think these are 0.2 millimeters. Um, they're very small and very common with Japanese nail art. Slightly bigger, you can't really see the difference, but I can definitely tell. Next size up, little seed shaped ones. They look like, I call them seeds. Um, I don't know what the proper name is for these uh, shapes. They look like little seeds to me. And I like to use these to make flower petals. This container, I've yet to fill it up. And in here, I have these tiny, tiny little stars. These are the smallest stars that I've ever seen. They're so tiny and they're metal. They're not confetti, the usual glitter plastic kind. These are metal. I have more tiny little seeds. I should put this in the other box actually, but yeah. Sometimes guys, I just, I either get lazy or as things come in, I just like to put them in empty little boxes. And it's not always consistent, but it's my organized chaos, as I like to call it. In here, I have more little seed-shaped gold studs, tiny, tiny ones here. A lot of the same shapes, but in tiny sizes. So I like to keep different sizes of these little studs. It's always good to have those handy. That's just the type of artist that I am. And if you follow me and if you've seen my nail artwork, you would know that. I like to incorporate a lot of tiny metal studs. All right, so next I have these. These are the same thing. They're just slightly bigger. Um, I have some stars here. They're just a little bigger than the other ones I just showed you. And some triangles. Yeah, triangle shapes. These have like a frosted texture, but they're literally the same shapes that I just showed you. These are really cool. Just a different variation of the shapes I just showed you in this one. I have more studs. Um, I'm really hoping the camera is capturing all this because I'm just terrible at describing what what they actually look like. These are just little weed leaf charms, some little crescent moons. These are so cute. I love having these. I use them all the time. The other side, same thing. I have these little round wheel thingies. They look like round plates. Really cool. Notice how they kind of 
move with the light. I also have these cute little cutout stars with the with the little gem on top. I need to stock up on on these charms. Next, I have my Western theme container, which has a lot of Western slash desert theme nail charms. These are little cactuses, little spurs. These are really cute. And like a gold chain charm. Kind of looks like a knot. So you can make a cool nail art set with these. On the other side, I have some horseshoes. These are pretty big. Um, I have tiny cacti and another variation of the horseshoe. These are smaller and they're a little thicker. So I like to just keep different types of charms. If it's the same design, it doesn't matter. I, I like I just like variation. So in this one, I just have these uh, arch-shaped gold bars, which you can place around the cuticle area, kind of like a little cuticle jewelry type of thing. These are actually really thick. This is what they look like. It's really sparkly. These they're so pretty looking. They look like jewelry. Same thing, just uh, less sparkly, I guess. But yeah, it's the same type of gold charm. I have these little eagle shaped nail charms. Perfect for that western theme I was just showing you. I have more seeds in here, but these are just different shapes. Uh, they're a little longer. This container is very random because I have a few Halloween pieces mixed in with some gems. And I'm going to show you guys what I have. It's not a lot. Um, I have some candy pieces, jack-o'-lanterns, a little skeleton uh, piece here, and little tiny bones. You can see right there. They're so tiny. We have these really cute gems. Um, I picked up these gems in Japan on my last trip, and surprisingly, they were from the like a discount store, not a discount store, but kind of like a dollar store. It's kind of like a Daiso, it's called Seria. And I found these at Seria and they're really pretty, very good quality for dollar store nail art. This container, I have these gold charms that are kind of like, they're like big studs. Um, they're curved, so they lay flat on the nail. So you don't have to worry about the side sticking out. They're very pretty and Good quality. I got these in Japan as well. I really like these and I have more gold bars. I have an obsession with gold bars. These are really big. These are super thick. And I have more over here. Kind of they remind me of flowers. I like to put gel in them or make them into little flower designs. These are so cute, you guys. They're tiny little flower studs. Do you see that? In here, I have more, just different style flower charms. Long teardrop shape studs. More frames, guys. I know I have a lot of frames, but I'm telling you guys, if you like making nail charms, making your own custom made nail jewelry, it is really good to have these frames. If you love gold or silver, you can find these in silver. I just tend to lean more towards gold because it's what I like and a lot of my clients really like gold. It looks good on so many different skin tones. That's just my opinion, but gold is just so pretty and I feel like it's more eye-catching. But yeah, I also have silver. It's just not as much as gold. I don't buy a lot of silver to be honest. So yeah, these are just more gold metal frames. These are tiny little squares and these are medium size and I have the large right here. I really hope I don't drop them. Yeah, this is what they look like. They're just square. I don't know, they just remind me of jewelry. You can make like an opal gem with the gold square framing. It's really easy. Let me know if you guys want me to teach you how to do this. It is so easy and it's so much fun. I have these oval ones here. And these are just like a thinner version of this one. This one has like a, this one has a texture actually. I have more frames. These are really pretty because they're kind of oblong shaped. They're not perfectly round or oval. They're, they kind of look like the shape of a geode. 
I'm gonna insert some nail art where I actually use this type of charm. This is what they look like. You can put like shell pieces or opal or even glitter. This box I have nothing but Sailor Moon themed nail pieces, nail art pieces. I have, let me see here, I have, I have the gold heart with the little wings um, on the side. I have the compact and I also have a little piece of the wand. This is really cool because you can attach it to like this one um, or I also have another heart shape here. Kind of make it look like the, not the wand, the scepter that she holds. I made a set of press on nails with these charms, very Sailor Moon, very cute, very kawaii. I love these. These are my latest obsession. They're so cute. They're so big, but they're curved, so they lay flat on the nail. I have more gold frames. These are heart-shaped, and these are actually from Japan. I bought them while I was over there, and last year I stocked up when Rika Gel was here in LA for Nail Pro. They had the heart-shaped frames, which I absolutely love. These are so cute. These are a little thinner, these are thicker, and it just gets thicker from there. <laughs> uh, these are just little heart-shaped charms with filigree. You can see that, it looks very fancy. More frames, uh, studs, another frame, and uh, more frames. These are gems that I picked up in Japan. These are imported, and they're beautiful. They're like glittery, opaly. Um, what do you call them? Like cabs? This one has like a shell tone to it. I believe there's shell in there. This is glitter or some type of mylar. I think this is also mylar. Just beautiful nail charms. They are so big. This is so cute. Next I have more studs. These are just little heart shaped studs. Some star shape. What else? Just random assortment. Hearts. Actually, these these are little clamps. These are hearts, little clam shape, uh, sparkly studs. These tiny flat um, heart studs, sparkle shape studs. This one has a cute little stone in the middle. More heart charms with uh, cross in the middle. Gold crosses right here. I have the Virgin Mary. It's kind of like a coin. It's really big. Uh, this is uh, Virgin Mary, and then actually these are the coins because they're a little flatter. Uh, it has her image in the middle. It kind of looks like a med medallion or some sort of coin. It's very, very pretty. I have some more roses. I, the other side, I have fleur, fleur de lis, nail, nail studs, old nail charm with the cross in the middle. I have some bees. These are tiny bee charms and same thing. They're just bigger. More biblical nail art, more medallions. I think this is a different variation of the Virgin Mary uh, medallion. This one is more like a statue. That's her right there. It's an assortment of like angel wings, cherubs, and I believe unicorns. It came in a pack of just mixed charms so i just put them all in there they're not separated i have little crowns uh jesus on the cross these two actually very popular in japan and my clients love them as well getting on to the silver metal nail art that i have it is not a lot i'm gonna be honest with you guys i kept it very simple with silver i didn't buy a lot of charms but i do have a lot of what i just showed you which are these tiny little metal studs that I like to use when I'm, I just wanna add a little sparkle, some shine. Uh, I do have these piercing metal charms, like just like the ones I showed you, the gold ones, they're just, they, they come in silver. So I have a like a barbell right here. I believe that's what it's called. It kind of looks like the ones, you, like the nipple ring type of body jewelry. Um, I have the cactus that I just showed you guys. Same thing, they're just in silver more piercing pieces these are so cool i like the silver uh tone more than the gold ones actually. more little seashells uh big and small it's not a lot going on right here foil uh silver caviar beads these are the arrowhead shaped ones these are so cute all right and this is the second drawer and same thing uh square frames 
wanted to buy them in silver and some little leaves here these are so cute i have the gold ones too and little flower shape frames silver bars here uh circle studs biblical nail art i believe yeah i got these at seria too i got them in silver same thing just in silver full spurs horseshoe silver nail tape i also like to keep this one in its own dispenser because it is just a solid silver color and i do actually use this tape in silver during the holidays they're my favorite silver charms because they remind me of the desert it has like a little tiny turquoise stone and right in the center these bunch of these these are very boho when that boho trend was going on i still love this look i love using these pieces whenever i work with silver nail art pieces these this is my favorite type of thing to do which is like the western look the boho theme so pretty look at that they look vintage I also have a wheel of square studs. All right, and that's it for the first part of my nail art collection. Let me know which charms you like the most. I'll see you in my next one.